Hi, it's Mello. So I'm here for a collective read because I just like, I guess, received the download. I just heard some messages or whatever. And I know that the messages are not only for me, they're, they were given to me so that I could spread it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to because I don't need cards for this collective read. I'm just really just listening to what I'm hearing. And so basically going on top of the dome type shit. So, um, yeah, I believe I might be wrong, but I think it's Saturn retrograde that we're in and we just got out of Mercury retrograde. Something of the sort, if I'm not like correct, but I think that's what it is type shit. So what I've been reading, um, like from my other astro girls that I tune into and then what I'm just like paying attention for myself uh, as far as like how my experience is going right now for me. Um, we're, uh, the collective is definitely in a very receiving era, a very, um, it's finally your time, you're getting what you deserve, a very sit back and rest type of fucking era type shit and i'm loving it i'm loving the energy but also a lot of people who era who resonate in that era this giving era um those same people are also the type of people that is also trying to learn how to receive if that makes sense like you're not used to being on the receiving end you're the giver you're always pouring into other people's cups and you have a habit of taking your cup and pouring it and pouring it and pouring it until you're fully empty and even when you don't have shit in your cup it's like you get the cup with air and you still pour into other people and it's like you really ask yourself like how do i do it like i'm really not even i really haven't even been capable of pouring into myself so how am i constantly able to spread myself thin for so many other people well, God, the universe, your ancestors, our ancestors is like, bitch, that era is over. Sit back, chill, and get what's yours. Like, you are very deserving. Like, if you've been putting out that good energy, that good karma, that good juju out into the universe, you better believe, like, it's going to come back for you. Like, it might have taken a long time. Um, I'm hearing patience, so I'm hearing, like, this past era that we came out of or even some some people may be currently still there um the guy in the universe has been teaching you patience like it's been shit that has really been testing you like testing your gangster for real you just like i know this shit happened for a reason like this is a test and so like i feel like a lot of us didn't fold like like, I'm not saying every time, like, we didn't have a reaction or a response to some shit that, like, we felt like really tested us and tested our patience. But I'm saying for the most part, like, there's been moments where you probably step back and been like, damn, normally I would have, like, may have reacted very intensely or harshly to the situation. But, like, I really kept this shit cool. There's growth. Like, like you're noticing, you're realizing your moments of growth. So in those moments where you didn't fold, like you put out, you welcome in and attracted that abundant of like positive energy just by not like responding how you would in the past. So soft era, soft era, me please. Like I personally have been claiming my divine feminine energy and have been consciously and intentionally um, trying to work on and also let go some of my toxic feminine and masculine masculine traits and habits um so that i can divinely sit on my feminine throne um i don't i want security and stability around me i only want divine masculine energy around me and someone who allows me to feel vulnerable and safe in their presence 
Um, so it's just like, yes, like I've always been, it's always been hard for me to ask for help and also just receive help or just receive love or just, just receive in general, because I've, I've been a giver and a doer and like literally just giving my last and just not even beyond a physical sense of like giving my last, but giving the last of me, like the last ounce of hope or energy like that I have of me and giving it shit to somebody else because I see a need and it's like although that's admirable of myself and of other people it's a no fucking go it's a no go like anymore for this shit like self first everything else follows like that's where I'm at so receiving error and self-prioritizing making sure you put yourself first like this this like the real first step of self-care like i feel like some of y'all may be kind of lost on like okay i keep hearing about self-care but how am i supposed to do that shit like where does it start like what does that look like for me first is putting yourself first and i know a lot of y'all i'm feeling like a lot of y'all are parents mostly mothers um single mothers taking care of your child or your children and you like put myself first is like non-existent but you're wrong sis you're wrong sis and i know this is a very unpopular opinion but i don't give a fuck about it being unpopular because this is how i'm gonna tell you wrong because you can't give anything you can't give anything to anybody else to your baby to nobody else until you give it to yourself first if you're not right within you can't spread that that positive uplifting high vibrational and frequency energy that you would like to even if you're doing it for a while just know that she gonna run out it's gonna run its course and then you're you're gonna you're gonna drop to that low vibrational energy and you're gonna be like damn how did i get here you didn't put yourself first and i know i know it sounds better said than done but practicing and constantly doing it and just saying no when when you know you want to um doing things just because you want to buying some shit because you want to like doing something because it makes you feel good it makes you feel happy like seeking genuine happiness like letting shit go when it don't serve you no more like all those things fall into self-care and self-prioritizing and so many more things like it's beyond this Instagram TikTok shit that they showing you about, you know, spiritual baths and yoni steams and and meditating in the forest and all that shit. It's, it's way deeper than that. And that's why some of y'all may be feeling stagnant and stuck and may be feeling like, okay, I'm at a road and it's like multiple ways and I don't really know which way to go. Like, you do know which way to go. You do. Because, like, my favorite saying is everything you need is already within you. So, all the answers that you're seeking, you know them. You have them. You may need to do something to quiet your mind so you're able to listen, so you're able to hear those messages, those answers that you're seeking. But just know it's there. Type shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that was the message. Um, receiving, self-care self-prioritizing um i'm here and believe in yourself know that you can do it never doubt yourself oh i like that message i think that was mainly for me but i receive it either way um so yeah i hope you know this i know fuck hope i know this is going to reach whoever it needs to reach whoever needs to hear the message um if it resonates with you boom uh, I appreciate you for listening, and you welcome in advance for the message. Peace.